Hello everyone, my name is Bill Keys. You're welcome to my channel. Today's class will be on how to make a Maxi Seku dress, which is very easy to make. I'll be making use of this beautiful material. And in case your measurement is longer than the uh, fabric, I'll show you how to join that hook, which is very, very easy to make. So now you can follow me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures, and on Facebook, follow us on Sewing Innovations. It's a closed group, just search for it, and the administrators will be waiting for you there. Then for our online classes, I'll put the contact number in the description box below, and also in the comment section. You can make inquiries through that number, and also for the sewing tools, we have them available in different materials so now let's get started the first thing you need is your fabric as this is what i have here is six years of fabric so you need your measuring tools and equipment so now you need your basic bodies for the front and also for the back i have mine here but i just had to stop at a stage in the front panel just to explain some things now this is my basic body is pattern from the nape of my neck to my waist for me here i have 17 inches it is actually 16 and a half on a normal day my measurement is 17 inches but 16 and a half works fine for me because of the abdomen area so plus seam allowance of half an inch for the lower part so that was why i made it 11 inches so that's what i have there then half of my ham hole which is eight and a half then my boss point measurement which is ten and a half so having done that i inserted my shoulder measurement and all that so an important thing now here is this i want to show you the neckline and then the ham hole area so now you can decide to have any type of that you can just have only the waist that or the princess that or even the shoulder that that totally depends on your preference but the first thing I'm going to talk about here is the neckline. Now, you remember the 3 inches, 8 inches standard. So now for a plus size person, you can just add extra quarter inch to that 3 and a half. Just to make it relax around the neck region. But an average woman, you can just maintain the 3 inches. It's fine. So by the time it's sewing half an inch for the neckline, it will be fine. So for me, I'm just going to add extra quarter inch, which will make it three and quarter so three and quarter is here so that will be my neck width now for my neck depth i can just make use of three and half so you can just maintain the same three and quarter then take your humble curve to have a perfect curve So now this is what I have for the neckline because I want a higher neckline. So another essential thing now is how wide you want the dress to be. So between 2 inches to 3 inches is fine so that at least part of your shoulder will be shown off. So now, since I want it to be like 2 inches, that means I will need half an inch on both sides just to sew it up. So what I will do now is to insert three inches you got two inches plus half an inch on both sides that is three so from the neck width region i'm just going to measure three inches which is here can you see that and i'll just take my pattern master to connect from here down to the end of the armhole with my pattern master now i'll just try to walk around the end of the armhole because we need that part we still want to maintain it just with that we want the shoulder area to be a little bit inward or as much as you want it anyway so now this is what i have so i'm just going to connect it now straight to the shoulder can you see that so this is what our top is going to look like so can you see that so we won't need this so we are making use of this very one and don't forget to have the same allowance let's have that before we continue so those are the vital parts i just want to to that i just want to explain so that was why i took my time to explain that part then i just connect so that's my seam allowance so to the other parts right now we are going to go over to the that 
so i want to insert the waist back now for that you are going to need your bust pan measurement mine is nine inches it means the distance from one nipple to the other on the average is between seven and a half to eight but mine is nine inches half of that is four and a half and i'm going to place this four and a half on the bust point line that is from the nape of your neck to the highest part of your boobs for me it is ten and a half so having inserted that i'm going to come down here again insert four and a half then make a straight line after drawing a straight line now we can insert a half inch that on both sides for a plus size person you can make it as much as three quarter inch on both sides and we're having just the waist that so for me i'll just make it three and quarter on both sides so here two three and quarter then from this point i'm just going to come down by one inch if you are someone that has a lot of balls that's so busty you can come down as much as one and a half or one and three quarter yes so now i can connect it now this is my waist that let me see what i have now so in case if you want a princess that you can do that or if you just want a normal waist that this is just fine but for the sake of those that want princess that all i will do now is to measure from here i have 10 half of that is five and half sorry that's five so depending on that the that you are taking here so you can just take half an inch on both sides so i'll come down by half so that is five and half so from that point i can just connect straight to the post point area so then I'm just going to take half an inch on both sides, half an inch here, half an inch here. Then just go up by one inch. That's if you are busty, one and a half. Then connect straight down here. Connect straight down here. And this lower part, just extend it a little. Can you see that about half an inch to three quarters? So this is about half an inch is fine. But to make it easier for you to know what you will extend the line by just measure whatever you have on this upper part here i have five inches go down to that point measure five and five inches can you see that so the essence of that is for you to match up after cutting it out so then take your hand hold curve just look at how this particular curve is here can you see that so i'm just going to place it on the upper part and make a new hand hold can you see that that was pretty easy take your hammer curve to blend this up so now so what i have here is just a classic princess that but if you are someone that wants this princess that i just had to explain this for those that want the princess that instead of because we are going to be cutting this through instead of inserting exactly four and a half for my boss pan i will have to have extra half an inch making it five do you understand that that's because after cutting this up we want to do what use that half an inch to sew it back to have our exact four and a half but i just had to do the first one the four and a half because i was making a waist that but i just thought of explaining this so if you are making a princess that now the only thing is that you will add extra half an inch to make it five but if i still want this there's a way around it i will now when drafting cutting it on my pattern i'll just add the extra half an inch to this needle panel so there's always a way out first quarter of my waist my waist circumference is 36 that divided by four is nine inches so just note that nine inches then i'll come over to the dots here i took one and a half inches that because three quarter on both sides that is one and a half so I'm going to add that to this plus one and a half. Then that will make it ten and a half inches. So I'm just going to take this ten and a half inches. That is that. So then for the size seam allowance, I'm going to add extra one inch just to store the sides up. So I have a total of eleven and a half. So nine inches for quarter of my waist. Then the that we took out. That will make it the that is one and a half, then plus extra one inch for the side. That is one 
inches then don't forget when you want to join this panel together you will need half an inch to join it up so you just had extra one inch again so total now will be nine plus one and half for the dart so that will make it ten and half plus one for the size seam allowance that will make it eleven and half then half an inch to join it together that will make it twelve and half total of 12 and a half so going to the upper part now quarter of my bust measurement my bust circumference is 10 and a half so which is what i have here already 10 and a half is here can you see that so now what we are going to do is this we took off half an inch that from both sides so that is one let me okay first quarter of my waist uh, sorry of my, of my bust measurement 10 inches sorry 10 and a half inches then plus one inch that we took here one then remember we need half an inch to join it together that's another one then one inch size seam allowance so when we had that up 10 and a half this is one two three so three plus ten and a half that will make it 13 and a half so here i'm going to have 13 and a half but if you want to waste that, you don't need all that. So I just have to explain that for the purpose of those that needed that. So this is what the front panel looks like. So what we have to do is to place it on the fabric and cut it out. Can you see that? So let's quickly go to the back panel. Now this is my back basic bodies. So this is one inch for the zipper allowance. You see that then I just have a waist that here, which is half an inch on both sides. You still make use of half of your bust pan, which is four and a half for me. And I made a straight line then half an inch straight down. Then for the neckline, remember I made use of three and quarter. For myself for the neck width so i'm going to do the same thing here three and quarter so along the slope three and quarter let me confirm that so three and quarter is just here then i'm going to come down by one inch or one and a half is fine to so one inch here now i'm just going to cut this out then take my ruler to make this straight so that's the back neckline so remember, after the three and quarter inch yeah, for the front, I measured three inches for the for the shoulder width. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Three inches is here. And you see that I'm going to get my pattern master again and then walk around it. Try to adjust because we want to maintain this hammer area. That's fine. So that's what the next one can you see the ham hole now because we want this part of the shoulder to be showing off so after doing that now we are done so let me just go over the measurement the measurement for you to know so here my cutter of my waist is nine inches just as we did for the front then for the dart here we are not cutting it out so it's just going to be sewn so there's no need for half an inch to join it together so nine inches plus one inch that that makes it 10 so that's all so 10 after the zipper allowance so 10 so which is what i have here so extra one inch for side seam allowance going over to the bust area we i know that pass through this point so we need to not to be worried so quarter of my bust measurement is 10 and a half so 10 and a half is what i have here after the zipper allowance can you see that then one inch for the side seam allowance all we need to do next is to add half an inch to the shoulder measurement. Half an inch. Then connect it. So that's all. So let's cut this out. So if you want to waste that for the front, so it's going to be like this. You won't be cutting it through.
what the panels look like this is for the front we have a classic princess that and then for the back so it's just as easy as that you could have a princess that here too just connect with your pattern master and you see after getting the midpoint then you just connect this with that hole so now this is what it looks like so just a simple adjustment you just have to make for the back to prevent some puffiness take your like I go up by half an inch to three quarter inch and connect it straight down to the side and this part is going to be straight so what you are going to do next is whatever measurement you have here here I have 12 should be the same with this so it's still 12 so i'm going to go then i can trim that hole so with this you won't have any puffiness at the back so that's that so that's our front and back so all we have to do is to place it on the fabric and cut it out so let's go to the lower part to cut the half circle skirt now so i did some little calculation which you should not be scared about so now looking at this i said for the half circle skirt one you need the length of your skirt the length of my skirt is 43 inches that is from my waist to the floor length is 43 inches for me remember for the upper part i made use of uh, 16 and a half so 16 and a half plus 443 will be my total length of the dress so now for me now the total length of the skirt is 43 inches plus one inch seam allowance with this one inch seam allowance i'm going to have one inch yeah so i'm going to have 44 inches sorry about that so 43 inches is the actual length so i need one inch seam allowance which will make it 44 inches or so you can make use of half that's only for the lower part so now we need another thing called the skirt radius so calculation for the skirt radius now is your waist rate your waist circumference my waist circumference is 36 remember when we we're talking about the waist measurement for the upper part so for me it is 36 inches so you will now have to add one inch seam allowance to that 36 inches which make it 37 so with this one inch seam allowance you are going to have one inch on both sides after using this calculation yes it works so now i have 36 plus one over 3.142 don't be worried about this. It's just a constant for half circle skates. So now that makes it 37 over 3.142. So when I divide this, I have 11.775. So approximately 11 and three quarter inch. That is my skirt radius. Another measurement we need is the total length of the skirt, meaning the length of the skirt plus the waist radius we calculated here. So total length of the skirt now, because this will help us in calculating thin the amount of fabric needed so total length of the skirt now which is, will be 44 inches for the skirt length plus 11 and 3 quarter inch for the radius so which sums up to 55 and 3 quarter so the two measurements we need for our skirt now is the waist radius which is 11 and 3 quarter and the total length of the skirt which is 55 and 3 quarter so now let's get started right now it's time for us to cut the skirts and looking at my fabric this is the length of the yardage like the six and a half this is uh, the six yards this is how it goes that's the length so now the width which is by 45 for african print fabric goes this way so the first thing i'm going to do now is to measure 55 and three quarter by this side by the length so 55 and three quarter i can just make it 56 or 57 to be on the saver side So 50, this is about 57 here. So that means I'll just need two of that to cut the skirt. Then I'm going to fold over this way. So 56 times 2 is the amount of fabric you need for the skirt alone. So this is what I have now. So now after folding it, what I'm going to do now is to now take 
this lower part and fold over this way. Can you see that? So I still have excesses here because this is actually shorter. But I'll show you how to add the fabric to make it full again. So let me just adjust this perfectly. Right now, I folded it and adjusted it well. So now the 53 and 3 quarter, this is what I have. 53 and 3 quarter is here. And it stops here. But the lower part will be enough. So I'm only going to add fabric to this upper one. So this is the amount of fabric I'll be adding to it, but I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we are going to do now is to insert the radius of 11 and 3 quarter here. So let me bring the camera closer. Now 11 and 3 quarter is the radius, which is here, 11 and 3 quarter. So place it at the end. Measure 11 and 3 quarter. Now, since I've gone, done this, so I'm just going to confirm the measurement because remember my waist circumference is 36, then I need one inch on both sides, that's two, it will make it 38. So let me measure what I have here. Okay, good, I have nine and a half, so let me check, let me double it. So that is 19, double of that, that is 38, so that's perfect. So if it is too much, you come up a little, if it is less, you go down a little. But I just have the actual measurement here. So the next thing now is to start for the longer part of the skirt. So to cut the 55 and 3 quarter now. So you place your measuring tape here at the edge again. Then just measure down 55 and 3 quarter is here. Then I will have to keep rotating the measuring tape. So you have to take your time. So looking at it as I get more and more closer. So this is the only part I'll be adding fabric to. So as I get to this other place, you can see it just matches up. Can you see that? So then I'm going to have the curve all to this point. This is what I have. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do is to cut this off. Then we can add additional fabric to it. So looking at it now, I've cut the excess off. Can you see? So we have a shortage of this very part. So I want to explain this part in detail. So all I'm going to do now is to just set it this way. Can you see that? Then I'm going to get another fabric. So remember this part is uh, folded. This is on fold. So what we are going to be cutting has to be on fold. So can you see that? So we can try to like follow the pattern to like make it look as if it's the same. So if you are doing that, you have to adjust in a way that you will have this pattern matching each other. So this is it. So I'll take my time to fold. So remember, we'll need half an inch to join this point together. Then I'll make sure it overlaps by one and in, well, half an inch, sorry. So make sure it matches the side. Take your time. Now I made sure it has overlapped by half an inch. All true. So the next thing is this. So with my fingers, I can feel the lower one. I can feel the lower fabric. Or better still, you can just turn it to the other way around. So it's better you turn it. This other part we want to use as uh, a pattern will be the other way around. So maybe I should turn it the other way around so that you can understand very well. But any which way, I can like cut it. So, but let me turn it to the other way around so you will see what we are cutting out. 
So before I want to turn it, I just had to pin it down. So please do that in case you are doing it yours that way. So I've pinned this all down. So I want to pin this edge down too. So I just have to take all the time so as to explain for you to get. So now I can turn it. So can you see with the pin, I can move it easily. I've turned it to the other way around. So can you see? So this is the one we want to use as a template to cut this. Then I can cut it out. Can you see how easy that was? So for those that are worrying how to do that, what if my measurement is longer than my fabric? That is just the easy way to do it. So I can remove this. So easy. Can you see we've added that perfectly? So all I have to do is to remove the pins. And that's it. Can you see? So that is it. So all I have to do now, the first thing is to sew this all with this very one. Can you see that? Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Can you see? And it matches perfectly can you see so the first thing now is to just sew this hook to have a full circle sorry a half circle skirt fabric has been joined to this point but before i open it up for you to see let's quickly go back to the upper parts because i've not caught that because there are some things i need to explain there so remember when i measured this part it was exactly 38 inches so now what I will do now is this, if I cut exactly on this, by the time we sew it up with the upper part, it's going to be too wide. But this is the exact measurement we need, so meaning we will have to add half an inch to this upper part, which will be the same allowance to the upper part to have this exact 38 inches we have here. So now you could measure yours, but I will just eyeball it. So after joining to the main fabric, the upper part, then the same is going to be exactly on the 38 and you have your 38 inches. So back to the joining, you can see that it's pretty easy to make. So let me open it this way. So this is where the joining is. Can you see that? So let me open it finally to see the same line. So if you are adding a lining, you cut exactly the same way. But I don't think it's necessary. So can you see the joining? All true. So it's pretty easy. So for those that have been worrying how to do this, that is how to join your circle skirts. So now let me show you the upper parts. So now this is her half circle skirt. You can see that. So that is it on how to cut your circle skirt. Upper bodies looks like I use the paper to cut out the fabric first let me show you the front so the classic princess that you can see that isn't that beautiful so all you have to do now is to just join it up so you can see the ham hole area is so nice and then the neckline so all you have to do is to join it if you want a lining so you cut it exactly the same way so you join that so beautiful then for the back i already notched my dart areas can you see so you're taking your darts can you see that and after that you just join it to the lower part so that is it on how to make this half circle maxi circle dress so now if my tutorial has been helpful please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram the key signatures and on Facebook, Sewing Innovations. I love you guys. Bye.